Hi everyone, it's Catherine. I have a good story for you. Rita and Ralph's Rotten Day. It was written by Carmen Agraditi. It was illustrated by Pete Oswald and it's published by Scholastic Press. So, there's two different houses. In two little houses on two little hills lived two best friends. Every morning, Rita and Ralph would open their doors, step outside, close their doors, and run. Down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, and meet at the apple tree. They'd meet under the apple tree and high five. Pinky shake do a cha-cha-cha, play zombie tag, and make daisy chains. They had a ritual. They did the same thing. They were the best of friends. Then one day, they played a new game, sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. Ow! yelled Rita. Uh-oh, Ralph froze. This was bad, really bad. So they ran away. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. They opened their doors, raced inside, and closed their doors. Rita was mad, and Ralph was sorry. So Ralph opened the door, stepped outside, closed the door. It was a hundred years to Rita's house, but she was his best friend. So Ralph went down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, and up the hill. The long walk made Ralph a smidge grumpy. I'm sorry, he barked, but he didn't sound one bit sorry. So Rita did not open the door. said Ralph, and off he stomped. This is not going well. Oh. He stomped down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, oh, and up the hill. He opened the door, stepped inside, closed the door. Now Ralph was mad. And Rita was kind of sorry. So she opened the door, stepped outside, closed the door. And ran down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, and up the hill. As she ran, she thought about Ralph and that rock. Just thinking about it made her mad all over again. I want my pine cone back, she shouted. Ralph opened the door threw out the pine cone, closed the door, and Rita trumped. Down the hill, up the hill, 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 down the hill, and up the hill. Wow, they're getting a lot of exercise. She opened her door, marched inside, and slammed the door. Now Rita was mad, Ralph was mad, and Rita was sad, and Ralph was sad. Oh boy, not good to go to, to sleep that way. But look at it, it's nighttime, 
and in two little houses on two little hills, no one slept a wink. It had been a rotten day. Look at them both. They're both having a bad night. And just when it seemed nothing would be right again, it was a new day. Rita and Ralph opened their doors, stepped outside, closed their doors, and went. Down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. And look, they're meeting at the tree, at their tree. I'm sorry, said Rita. I'm sorry, said Ralph. And they meant it. They did a high five, a pinky shake, and a cha-cha-cha. They played zombie games and made daisy chains because best friends always find a way to meet in the middle. Now they're reading a book together, 101 Things to Build with a Little Help from Your Friend. And here they are. They're building. They Look what they built. They built a tree house. I bet they had a little help probably from their, their people. But here they are bringing up their cat and their dog in their bucket. Friends. And here they are. In the middle. Best friends. Best friends. So sometimes we say things or things happen and we don't mean it. And people get mad or sad. But you know what? It's always good to just say you're sorry and make up with your best friend or any friend. Because that's the best way to do it. I hope you like the story. I'll be reading to you again soon. Have a great day.